Good morning and welcome to Games and Breakfast, the show that introduces you to games and the time it takes for you to get ready in the morning. I'm Alex and today we've got Naruto Boy. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you're having for breakfast and uh, like the video if you want to support the series and the channel. Now, Naruto Boy is a highly stylized action platformer. Um, and when I mean highly stylized, I mean like the pixel art is absolutely incredible. But I got a bit of a personal gripe here, which may not be a popular opinion. Um, I'm finding the game very difficult to play because of the, the art style. Um, the uh, like the effects and like the CRT effects and the, the pixel stuff is is making it very hard for me to like. Uh, oh, I almost died there. To like find things, like to find things in the game world. And oh man, tell me I die all right away, right off the bat here. There we go. A little bit of combat there. Gotta avoid those hands. But yeah, like, the game world is, like, highly stylized, and, like, that's a cool thing. But there are moments where, like, the game can be very difficult to, like, kind of make your way through. Like, a lot of the, the levels are very, very busy. Like, even this elevator ha has this flickering effect, and, like, just the whole world is flickering nonstop. <laughs> like, for you guys, if you're watching on a phone or something, you have, like, a nice little small screen, but... For me, it's like playing it on like a monitor is actually extremely challenging. Uh, Transcriptor is switched off and out of range, but um, I mean, it is a really beautiful game. Uh, it, it looks fantastic. I think the sound design is actually fantastic. I think the music's really cool. It has a lot of uh, really interesting uh, sound cues, which I think really make a big difference here. Uh, but as you can see, the game is very, very uh, uniquely styled, that's for sure. Um, now, what we're doing right now is, uh, hey, what's up, man? We are looking for Baba to give us a techno key. we got to visit Baba. And we are, so we're doing number three right now, which is go down to the garden and track down the quantum uh, meditator. So that's what we're looking for right now, the quantum meditator. So I think we actually have to activate that thing uh, that I was just at up on the ceiling there. Uh, we'll go through this door here. Like that, for instance, would you realize that that's a door? It doesn't really look like a door, does it? And even if you're right here, you can't activate it. Like, if I hit up, it doesn't do anything. I have to jump and be on the stairs to activate it. That kind of thing is starting to drive, like, me crazy in the early parts of this game. Let's do a little clap. What do we got here? Uh, we must have turned something on. Can I kill the bunny? No, I can't kill the bunny. Okay. But, uh, yes, so we definitely turned that thing on up there, which is what I suspected. It's on. Activate the uh, three... Uh, the Algo Altars. We're up on the Algo Altar here. Let's we'll see what we get here. But, like, the game doesn't hold you... Like, select symbol. Okay. Let's change symbol? Do I just hit A a bunch of times? I hit A a bunch of times. What happens now? That's not right? I'm not sure... Wait a minute. Look at the guy sleeping. Square, three dots, square. Is that the answer? Do the colors matter? Square, square, three dots, square. I thought I did that. Yes! Okay, we're in the quantum ascension. And we have to meditate again. We'll continue to meditate. Press X repeatedly. I'm pressing. I'm pressing. It's moments like these where this game's really cool. The Quantum media, uh, Meditator. Hey, what's up, dude? It's Baba's friend. Hey. We're here. Do I run? Oh, I have to clap? Clappy clap. I can feel it, yeah. So in case you're wondering what this story is about, basically, I'll give you the quick rundown while I give you a chance to read the text here. You are an actual person, I think, that got pulled into this this software, this game. Um, and basically, okay, so there's a programmer, and he programmed this world, this digital world. And then a virus was in the world, and the virus punched him in the face in real life somehow. And now he can't remember anything, so therefore he doesn't remember that he's a programmer, and therefore is not, um, so I gotta go to the Techno Key, I gotta go to Visit Baba. 
So he doesn't realize that he has to like fix the bugs as a programmer. So before the bugs completely take control of this world, um, you have to, uh, I guess, resurrect all his memories and help him remember that he's a programmer. Uh, if it sounds bizarre, it's because this game is really bizarre. Um, the, the environments are crazy, like, I feel like the music's by far the best part of this game. I think the, the pixel art is a little too much, but um, it, it plays well enough. Now, we gotta go up to see Bob, I think, so we have to go up here. Apparently in the hyperspace, there are a ton of elevators. Traditionally, elevators were used to, like, um, what's it called? Uh, we're not going, I'll, we're going to the Techno Algorithm Hall? Let's check out the, the Algorithm Hall. What's up? What's up, guys? I'm not ready for this party. But, like, that looks cool. The art's pretty damn sweet. Like, it looks cool. But when you actually have to interact with it sometimes and, like, find passageways and things like that, it can uh, be less cool. Please be, please work. Prayer is... Okay, got it. Embracing the creator. Yes, the creator is the programmer. Can I not open this? All right, Baba. We're coming for you, Baba. Hopefully I don't die Try trying to find Baba here. Don't step on the hands. Home run. We also have a shotgun. Which, which does that. And if you have full shotgun ammo, you can do like a mouth blast. Okay, here are the binary pack. But like that, for instance, like one of my beefs. Would you have realized that you could even go here? Nope. Game can get stressful. Access to Baba's cave. We're gonna put the floppy disk into this uh, totem pole of sorts. What's up, dude? You don't wanna talk to me? You're just minding the electro sheep? Okay, we're in Bo okay, we're visiting Baba here. Display information. Find Baba and get access to, yes. Speak to us, Baba. It's Naruto Boy! Yes! The trichoma would distill its essence in, uh, into barely uh, 20 pixels of condensed power. That's right, 20 pixels of condensed power, that's us! In the source code, I read, I read commented lines that made me suspect that a hero would be compiled to rebalance the beams of the trichoma. Along with other programs, I've been waiting for you. They call us the Believers. But my brothers, who flourished in these caves, have gradually switched off. Only I, Baba, remain a program who has always awaited you. Before giving you the techno key you're after, I must ask you a favor. Recently, since the arrival of him and his stallion forces, a suspicious portal event has appeared. It sounds like we're going in this portal. Can you help me investigate what it's all about? Yes, I will. Maybe we'll have time to step in. Sure. Let's go. Let's go, Naruto boy. Get into that portal. Let's see what's up. The horror dimension. Beta Maximum Prime. I don't know what this is. I can't even run. I gotta walk. Oh, God. What is this thing? Lord VHS. For those youngins out there, VHS... It's a cassette you watch videos on. <laughs> There's people that don't know what a VHS is. You're gonna learn the meaning of pain. I, Lord VHS, one of the barons from the dimensions of horror. Die. Lord VHS is coming at us. I have two... I'm dead. Lol. Rest in force. Rest in force. I'm back. Let's fight again. Oh, I already took damage. Okay, ready? There's my mouth beam. Uh, where do you go? Yo. Oh, there he is. That's not fair. I got okay. I clearly got to jump over that thing. I'm just like literally just eating damage nonstop.
Is he dead? <gasps> yes! Got him! Is there anything over here worth looking at? All right, Baba, we fought, we fought him. We got him, Baba. Talk to me. Tell me what's next. Oh, uh, why can't we converse? Oh, I gotta converse over there. I knew it, Lord VHS, one of him's hitmen. A hybrid stallion programmed in the depths of the dimensions of horror. Thank you, Naruto boy. Here's the techno key that will give you access to the priest portal. Don't be scared to cross this portal. It'll open the doors to the digital kingdom. Be strong, brother. Rest in power, live in light. Maintain harmony and suck it to him. Suck it to him. I've not heard that in a while. Techno key found. Let's go. Hi, Mr. Sheep. Dude. What's a sheep? Not a farmer. Shepherd. I don't even need to fight you guys. Look, I can just bounce over you. See ya. Give me access. No, I don't want to go to the underground garden. We gotta go up, right? Priest room. Bring us to the priest room. Damn it, we're Naruto boy. Here we go. Yes. Insert floppy disk. We're going, baby. We're going. Um, is this the portal? Explore the digital kingdom. I shall explore the digital kingdom. Wait, what? Now we're back here? Wait a minute, what happened? Do I just run this way? Whoa! Yo, guys! Whoa, I'm gone. The creator's tears. Did I just puke? Okay. A little bit of dancing, a little bit of pukies, no, no problem. This is Axis. The code shifter. I can't even go in there. Where can I go? Bunnies! Bunnies, help me! I need a key for that. I can go in this room? No, I can't. I can clap with this guy. Clap, clap, clap! Or oh, that's not a clap, that's a bell? Is that a camel? <laughs> this game. This game is weird. Now, do I welcome to the creator's tears? The stag master. I could have picked that up. The forgotten forest lies beyond this portal. In the heart of the forgotten forest, you'll find. I don't even know what that word is. Path of three branches. You must journey through the houses to release the creator's memories. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, explore this first uh, this region. Liberate the creator's memory that emerges from the code. Once you've done this, seek out the master code shifter. He has a wise program for the Forgotten Forest with the ability to compile animal forms. You must cross Forgotten Forest and form the animal code. That it's that or nothing. This orange door leads to his abode. Okay, let's go. Find your animal form through that door right there. Unlock the creator's memory. We're going. The healing corridor. Do I heal? I could use some healing. Load. So load, you've unlocked? Okay. Cool. So if I hit Y, it does load. I'm hitting Y, it's not doing anything. Oh, I see. I have to fill up the bar first. Home run! Come here, bud. See ya. Jumper. Oh, it's the enemy's a jumper, I see. He's dead. Sword dude. I'm dead. Come back to life. Come back to life. So I gotta, I gotta fill the power meter. 
How's that? A little bit of fighting. This guy's a jumper. So I got my electrical charge. So I went Super Saiyan. Oh, I missed the shotgun blast. Nice! More fighting! Alright, not bad. More jumpers! Oh, little dudes. Ooh, I got hit hard there. Yes! Finished! Hey, wake up! Oh, that's the programmer! He's gone! That's the guy who made this whole thing! Wait, what? What? Where is he? He's gone! The mystery continues. Thank you so much for watching and a very special thank you to all of our wonderful subscribers. Check out the other Games and Breakfast uh, videos above and I'll see you in the next video.